This is Twinkie the Kid. Ever wonder how they get that creamy filling into the middle of a Twinkie's cake? Well, these kids have some pretty good ideas. First, they put down the creamy filling, then they bake the cake all around. See, they got this big tube full of the stuff and they just squish it in. It's just born there. Hostess Twinkies cakes, fruit pies, and cupcakes. Yahoo! The fresh snacks with a snack in the middle. Why are alphabets fun to eat? Because you can eat the fun. Jim is for Mikey. There's a Mikey in my alphabet. How does it taste? <laughs> <laughs> he is for Tuckle. There's a Tuckle in my alphabet. How does it taste? Host Alphabet Cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. You can eat the fun. The best. <laughs> and <laughs> we have a right. <laughs> Sing, Sing, no, no. <laughs> Whoa, so what, what is going on here? Uh, nothing. I'm just trying to help the kids become friends. From the world of Lady Lovey Locks comes more Pixie Tail Magic. With Silky Mane. Come on, hair so long and fair. Night is colored everywhere. Wow, Silky Mane. Her sticker gets a Pixie Tail and she wears a beautiful hair. They're all sold separately. And here's Silky Pop too with more Pixie Tail Magic. That's fun to do. <laughs> silky Mane and Silky Pop from the world of Lady Lovey Locks. Each sold separately. New from the town. Never play with long necks. We're in a kindergarten. Kindergarten. Picture taken, folks. Help save the beachfront pier. Only five dollars. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, show your support. You step right up after a picture taken with a bunch of money. Come on. Hey, Gardner, you see Shawnee around? Sorry. Come on, honey. Show me a big smile. Show mommy your new team. Come on. Come on. Here you go. Step right up. Come on, honey. Come on, show your show me a big smile. Come on. Sometimes I'm glad I was an orphan. <laughs> Come on, it's the only sanity. Just relax. Everything's gonna be okay. I'll come and get you. All right? Give us a chance to secure the truck. Man, this thing is barely hanging on by a splinter. It's our only chance. All right, just don't move. I'm gonna come and get you. All right? You're gonna be okay. Don't move. We'll get right. you out. All right. Okay, guys. Let's get some weight on the back of that truck.
Cause you're riding on the mountain of your own free will And you're zipping in a flash on a daring dash Down a waterfall so rapid that you go split splash Zip, 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 What are you doing? I thought that you'd be more comfortable if Dolly slipped over there in the chair. Don't touch her. Jessica, I'm taking the doll out of the bed and I don't want to hear another word about it. Ah! I'll kill you! I'll kill you if you try to separate us! I'll kill you! Mine! Mine! Whoa! Meet you with your voice! I wasn't crying, honey. I was just a little upset, is all. Are you a policeman? Yes, I am. What's your name? Robin Hawkins. I already talked to the other policeman last night. Robin? Did you see the men that broke into your house last night? Yes, but they were wearing masks. So you couldn't see their faces? No. The men were mean. The one with the snakes? He pushed me down. Snakes? What do you mean, snakes? What kind of snakes? Black ones. Black snakes. Did he have a tattoo? No, a bracelet. I see. Is your mother and father OK? Yes. Good. Are they in the house? Mm-hmm. OK, I'm going to go in and talk to them, OK? OK. Thanks, Robin. Why did they kill the other policeman? I don't know, honey. come down and attack our city. What's gonna happen to us? Well, don't try to kill us. Little girls first. Why that, Stevie? You liar. Don't worry. Me, Dad, and Uncle Letty will fight them off. Right, Uncle Letty? Why do they want to kill us? Well, they don't. Yes, they do. No, Stevie, the Russians are just like us. But they're evil. No, they're not. See, they got families and... and kids and they got dogs just like you guys do. All the children go to school. Yeah, to teach them to kill us. No, look, the Russian people want peace. Dad, Uncle Letty said the Russians aren't evil. No, I just said that I don't think that the Russian people are that different from us. Well, and how come they're uh, building a nuclear missile base not more than 200 miles from our backyard? Well, I... I got a feeling that Khrushchev's probably going to dismantle the whole thing in a couple of days. You don't know that. Well, I do. I got this feeling. No, you don't. Not even Kennedy or Khrushchev knows that. Dad, how far is 200 miles? It's a long, long way, son. I'm sorry. I just, I just trying to make the kids feel less afraid. Well, you're doing a hell of a job, you know? Hey, come on. <laughs> Let's go get some dinner. What do you say? Good. I'm come starting. on, Dad. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go ahead, Dad. <laughs> What you're doing. The Great Wall 
of China has nothing on me when you look at a mountain you're looking at me the rock of Gibraltar we're one and the same till somebody mentions your name Somebody mentions your name like 80 miles of bad road. What's the matter, honey? You afraid Merlene's gonna sing again? <laughs> no, it ain't that. I don't know. I thought maybe I was gonna finally have a career, you know, as a painter. Well, it just turns out, though, I ain't got stuff. Oh, I knew you were a tortured artist. Maybe that's why I'm so attracted to you. You paint landscapes? If I forget to put down a drop cloth. Well, honey, I won't leave you with a smile on your face. You do? Yeah, I do. All right. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Uh, this one's for you. Ain't it funny, I can hear a sad old love song And suddenly, I'm back to yesterday I simply close my eyes and I remember How it was before you went away Just this morning I came across a picture A faded photograph of you and I And all at once you were there beside me Sometimes love just don't know when to die Sometimes love just don't know when to die. Oh, Harlan, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Really? I've, uh... I've been sitting in the park all afternoon, thinking. Now, I got something I need to say to you. Marlene, honey, I know singing has been your lifelong dream. Oh, Harlan, I can't go to that audition in Nashville. You what? Well, I realized this morning that I've been fooling myself. We both know that I can't sing. We both know that? Well, not if my stardom means leaving you and Fontana and Scout and everybody. Everybody, I've got an announcement.
about to make. I am not leaving Evening Shade. Oh, really? I mean, oh, darn. I found my dream right here. Being Mrs. Dr. Harlan Eldridge. You girls will just have to go on to stardom without me. Well, Merlene, honey, you made the right decision. Stand by your man. No, hey, you know, that, that might be a good song title, too. No, honey, I don't think so. Well, all right, y'all, this is time for bye-bye. We're off to Nashville! Yeah! Before they go, how about... One last song. Oh. Yeah. Harlan, it looks like I'll be singing every night just for you. I mean, I can't tell you what it means to me to hear you say that. West of Houston, north of Mexico There's a place where lonely people go And I thought love would pass me by But underneath that Texas sky I found paradise in San Antonio Well, the brownest stars in Texas looked at me a smile that fit me to a Texas tune Swinging Willie Nelson tune Underneath that Texas moon I found paradise in San Antonio A little Spanish flavor mariachis everywhere Well, there's lots of pretty senoritas Love is in the air So if you're feeling down and all You just might discover soon The magic in that Texas mood I bet you fall in love in San Antonio They're swinging Willie Nelson tune Underneath that Texas moon I bet you fall in love in San Antonio shark of despair I saw the current take you and then chomp you weren't there oh lord From Evening Shade, you go, girl. Candace Hudson from Evening Shade, you go, girl. Because, you know, it's, 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 it's speed is definitely the key here. You got to get through here and hey, get Mr. to the end. <laughs> so she made it through the Box Canyon, definitely really nice. That bumpy ride. And then takes her into the slalom, negotiating those very, very close turns. And she's taking it a little slow here, very cautious, a little bit of leg action. Like, and uh, hopefully a nice turnover. Being the first team out, they're having to test the course for everyone else. I thought it was good. Uh, uh -huh. I thought we all did good. She did very good. Can I hold on to first place all the way? Yeah, all right, absolutely. You're, you're in great condition. How about it, Michael? <laughs> Watching for a minute, now they get on and play, and it's just not the same experience at all.
masculinity? Hi, what's your dolly's name? This is not a dolly. Do I look like a guy who would have a dolly? Hey, that's a real baby. That's right, and real babies need lots of rest and quiet, so uh, goodbye. Which one of you is the mommy? Look, little girl. We're not allowed to talk to strangers, and I don't think you should either. You're not strangers. You're Willie Hogan. How do you know my name? You once went out with my sister. Who's your sister? I don't think I should tell you. She hates you. Hey, why does she hate you? Mark, I don't even know who she is. Why does she hate me? Because you never asked her out again. Every time she hears your name, she starts crying. Who? Forget about her sister. Look, we're supposed to meet our girlfriends here, so if you don't mind... Oh, you have a girlfriend. So that's why you ruined my sister's life. Honey, put your doll back in her carriage. Okay, Mommy. Um, e excuse me? Did you happen to see two teenage girls here a little while ago? I don't think so. Sorry. Come on, honey. Here. Do one of them have red hair? Yeah. Where are they? They left. Uh, did the one with the red hair, did she seem angry? I mean, more than usual? She was using words I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> Don't I know you? Who, me? Uh, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm new to the neighborhood. Come on, Mark, let's go to our new house. <laughs> The boy who ruined my sister's life. <laughs> Did you find some shoes you like? Yes, but I don't want him touching my feet. <laughs> Sit down, Sally. So, Melissa, are you doing anything tomorrow night? Not with you, she isn't. She hates your... Ow! Why don't you take a hike and uh, see how that feels? I'm Sally. So, Melissa, what do you say? I've got two tickets to the monster truck rally tomorrow night. Well, if I were to go out with you, I would much prefer to go someplace nice for dinner. Well, I'm sure I could come up with something. Why don't we meet here tomorrow at six? Well, I guess so. Great. I don't want this crummy shoe. <laughs> Sit on the radio, try a shoe, get a toy. Now, where's my toy? Oh, look at that. We ran out. The basket's empty. I want my toy. Sally, we don't have any more. Let's go. But I want my toy! Shut up about the stupid toy! Bye, Willie. Bye, Melissa. I'll see you tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>